sinking further How much deeper till I greet the sea Stop treading water Amalgamation what is up my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to say congratulations to Colorado Caddy for being the 1K subscriber giveaway winner. Thank you so much and thank you all for entering the giveaway. That was a lot of fun to do. And actually, be on the lookout. There's going to be another giveaway coming in about a week or two. We're going to be giving away this awesome tack form foam out. So make sure you're subscribed to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. And make sure if you want to support my channel, check out those links down below. I just got a new link for rider bags. So I've been looking for a new book bag since my book bag currently doesn't fit everything I want in it. And plus it's camouflage so people don't see me. So I wanted something with some kind of reflective, a little bit bigger and waterproof. So I was searching around and I found rider bag. I actually reached out to rider bag and they're going to send me one of their book bags to review and test out. So I'm excited for that guys. And make sure if you guys want $100 off any model Super 73, especially the RX, because this thing is badass, click that link down below. And I have the One Stop Board Shop link down there. Use code SHREDDY, 5% off when you check out, guys. Thank you so much. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a 60-mile throttle-only challenge. I got my charger in my book bag in case my battery does die. I don't want to get stuck out there like 30 miles away from my house. So I'm a little bit nervous about this. And... I've, I've been having a little bit of problems with my uh, my valve stem, so hopefully it doesn't start leaking. It, it has been leaking. What I ended up doing is pulling out the whole valve stem and just cleaning it off a little bit, put it back in, it's fine. I accidentally broke the cap on there, so I'm gonna go hit up like an AutoZone or Pet Boys and see if I can get some cool little caps on there. Maybe some skulls would be awesome. And thank you to all the recent subscribers, past, present, and future. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. So are you guys ready to get this journey started? Let's do it. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is just keep feathering the throttle as much as I can. We're on mode four, so I'm just not going to be gunning it the whole time. All throttle. So we're going to see if we can do 60 miles. I'm a little bit nervous and excited about it. All right, so we're starting this journey at 2,181 miles. I'm recording a ride on the Super 73 app, so hopefully it stays on the whole time. And it doesn't rain. <laughs> All right, so this is how I have the app set up. I got my speed on the top, how long I've been riding in the middle, and then the distance on the very bottom. So once that hits 60, that's gonna be it for the ride. Let's hope we make it. That's all I'm doing, just feathering the throttle nice and easy. It's gonna be a nice windy day. It's gonna be 70 degrees, but it's gonna be cloudy all day. So hopefully we're not riding against the wind too much today. So I'm gonna stay on the bike trails as much as I can. I know we got about 10 to 13 miles of bike trails I can stay on. Then I'm gonna hop back on Route 1, maybe hop over the uh, Old Inlet Bridge, and uh, we'll see how far we get. I think I'm just gonna stop at uh, Lewis Bike Shop to see if they have uh, valve stems for my bike and uh, the, the little covers on there. It would be cool to get like a little skull or maybe like a little green like like uh, hand grenade would be awesome. That's what I have on my other pedal peasant bike I, I got at home. <laughs> it's a fat bike you haven't seen yet before. Uh, by Soul Beach Cruiser. This is a pretty cool looking bike. They call it the Sergeant Stomper. It's all like camo green. It's pretty awesome. Or it's more like olive green. It, it doesn't have like the camouflage pattern on it or anything. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, when you do order that rider bag with the link down below, you get free shipping through there. Now it fits in. <laughs> this guy usually keeps these decorations up year round and he switches them out. It's pretty cool. Perfect for Halloween though. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey guys, I cannot get my mind off of Marv's bike build. It's so awesome. I actually showed uh, Homer Andrew, and now he's already ordered all the parts to build his own bomber e-bike like that. His is gonna be like all black. Um, I actually found a cool like, I guess it's olive green frame uh, that I could use to actually build my own. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see me build a bike like that. 5,000 watt motor, that would be intense. So fast and fun. All right, cool. So I wasn't able to find any valve cores. That's what they call it. I thought it was a valve stem, but Lewis Cycle Sports, make sure if you guys are in the Lewis area, I only take my bike here. This is the only bike shop I trust. They have been awesome from the, from the first day I met them. We used to stay here at the Beacon Motel all the time. And uh, anytime my girlfriend needed help on the bike, they, they would do it and fix it for free. So that's awesome. And they actually gave me a little cover for free. So thank you, Lewis Cycle Sports. You guys are the best around. 
So the oil spill has been spreading around here, which sucks, and I still can't get anybody to let me know if I can help. Um, but here it says, in accordance with the advice of the U.S. Coast Guard and DENREC, Lewis Beach is closed to the public, effective 10-22-2020 until farther notice due to the oil spill in a Delaware Bay. The Lewis Beach will remain closed until the U.S. Coast Guard and DENREC advise the city of Lewis that the beaches are safe to reopen. So what people are saying is they're seeing like clumps of oil up and down the coastline, unfortunately. And then they've seen a couple birds covered in oil. So they're, what they're doing to clean them up is using dish soap and washing them down. So hopefully no other animals are getting injured or hurt or killed. So that's kind of upsetting guys. All right guys, five miles down and we're down 2%. I think if I keep up this pace, I'll be able to do 60 miles. So this is what I've been doing the whole time, just throttle, coast, throttle, coast. And we are actually going directly into the wind. It's about 10 mile an hour winds. So I do feel it slowing me down a little bit. I, I still think we're gonna make it though, guys. I just hope it does not rain. Look at this. It says 0% chance of rain, but man, you can never trust that weather, man. <laughs> And guys, man, unfortunately, we didn't get to do that uh, unsanctioned, you know, unsponsored uh, ride last Sunday because rain. We switched it again to this Sunday and all of a sudden rain pops up on the, uh, on the radar. So I don't know, guys, I might end up uh, just waiting it out and seeing if it's still going to rain by uh, Thursday. If it says it's going to rain Sunday, maybe we'll switch it to Saturday and see what the guys want to do. Hopefully we can still get a ride in with these with my other crew, man, because I definitely love riding with other people, especially the people that were on, on the EVS Seacoast group ride, since everybody is really cool. What is a shreddy video without me riding in the grass? Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's not kill my battery. Okay, okay, we'll do a little bit. Yee. <laughs> oh, man. You guys, you have to ride in the grass if you get one of these bikes. And also don't forget about that cruise control, fellas. Built in. <laughs> Just gotta change the LCD screen to this side. All right, we're almost at seven miles and we've lost 5% of the battery. I think it's because I've been going against the wind and now I've been kind of giving a little more throttle. So I'm gonna try to slow it down a little bit and just keep an average speed between 10 and 15 miles an hour. For all you guys that have been waiting for my Huck Stinger, it is getting built as we speak. Um, I actually messaged them not too long ago and asked them if they could send me a picture of the build once it's done. That way I can approve it before they send it out. I just want to make sure that they uh, send me the right tank color and the right handlebar since I upgraded to the Moto X. But guys, I'm excited to get this bike and I'm actually, I'm actually excited to mod it myself in the future. The battery that it comes with, it's, it's a 30 amp hour, 72 volt battery. I actually spoke to somebody on, uh, on YouTube uh, that's actually in Afghanistan and thank you so much for your service. But uh, he's getting two of the, I think he said the 50 amp uh, hour or 50 amp hour batteries running in parallel on that bike. Holy moly, imagine that. Imagine the range that that guy's gonna get on that bike. I can't wait to see uh, what he gets when he, when he receives the bike. Um, so I'm thinking about doing so, uh, some kind of upgrade like that in the future, which would be really awesome. But I gotta figure out how to do all the electronic stuff. It'd be awesome to learn that. I'm hoping uh, if I get together with Marv, he'll be able to show me all that stuff and uh, I'll be able to start building my own bikes here pretty soon. And also homebrew Andrew which uh, he's really smart with all the bike parts and how to put them all together. And also I'm gonna be building that uh, solar panel charger for both of my bikes. I'm stoked for that guys. I don't know if you guys can read that sign, but that's actually unfortunate. Spots of oil on beach, caution possible. Oh, caution, possible spots of oil on beach. So last week when I checked it out, it did not make it up this far, so man. That's upsetting, man. And they still haven't found out like who, who dropped all that oil or what, what barge it was on or whatever, I don't know what boat or whatever, but I'm sure they knew it was an oil spill, but they didn't decide to report it, which is very unfortunate. Oh, I forgot guys, I do have two inner tubes in my backpack with uh, valve cores in there. So if I do still end up losing air, which I don't think I am, I'll end up just switching them out for now until I can get some replacement ones. Um, 
But what I did to listen for the air leaking, if you guys do have AirPods, they have that little listen mode or whatever, like live listen, I think it's called. But what you could do is turn the volume all the way up, put your both AirPods in, and just stick your phone's microphone next to the valve core to see if you can hear air le leaking. So what I did is I just kept on screwing it on, just messing around with it until I couldn't hear any air leaking out of it. So let's hope it holds up. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna be uh, pumping up this whole tire with a little mini pump, so. Oh, actually, you know what? They do have um, those air pumps for trucks when they go uh, four-wheeling around here. So that should help me out, guys. All right, let's coast down here because I've been eating up the battery. Look at that, 10 miles, 10%. So. Wow, 1% each mile <laughs> so far. That's pretty good. I think we're going to make it. I, I'm not going to be able to do 90 miles today, though, guys. That would be pretty insane. All right, guys. So this voyage, we're going to be doing gravel trails and street and a little bit of grass. So hopefully riding on the gravel doesn't kill my battery too much. I don't think it, it should, as long as I just keep it nice and, and easy on the throttle, just like, just like that. That's how it likes it. Good bike. You're being a good bike. Hey guys, don't forget, I, I have over 2,000 miles on this bike, so there could be a little bit of uh, battery, uh, I forget, degradation or degradation. <laughs> so the battery is definitely going to be dying after 2,000 miles, I would think. So let's see how it holds up. All right, I got to do this trail. It's, I know it's going to kill my battery a little bit, but we'll take it easy. I, I just love riding this cool trail. It's like a little mountain bike type trail. Definitely not going to go as fast as I normally go. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I know that would be a jump if I was going faster. Oh, wow. I love the colors back here, guys. It's beautiful. And I'll, also, I'm going to do my cheesy music video probably towards the end of the video. Um, if I have, like, extra battery. Because I think going this slow doing that cheesy music video will be boring for you guys. Boring for me also. Oh, come on. Let's not kill my battery going up this hill. Oh yeah, we're at 89%, 11 miles down. Hey, can't hate on that. Can't hate on that. All right, second part of the trail. Definitely love the fall. It looks so cool back here, guys. I know that 360 video is gonna look really neat with these colors. Stick. Hopefully I don't run into anybody back here. Oh man, 88% now. Take it easy, Shreddy. I know going up, these little hills are definitely doing a little bit of damage on the battery. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to take some of you guys on these trails. You guys are gonna love it here. <laughs> Slow down here. Oh, a little bit of mud there. Oh! <laughs> I'm hoping soon I can upgrade the fenders on this so when I do ride in the rain, I don't get splashed up. Yeah, that is so much fun, guys. All right, we're almost at the end. Yeah, we made it, fellas. Oh my God, I thought that guy was riding a wheelie, then I saw, <laughs> then I saw the rest of the bike. That's pretty cool. All right, we're coming up on the best, most beautiful view in Delaware. At least I think it is. You might find some awesome view, other views in Delaware, but this is number one. Number one. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We're not even in, in the US anymore here. Oh man, this is so cool. I feel like there should be like buffalo out there or something. <laughs> so beautiful, guys. Drop a like for this. Drop a like for this. I love it. You could actually see people walking on the trail all the way down there. The beach is on that side. You can't see it though, unfortunately. So cool. Look at this view, guys. This is awesome. There's nothing more relaxing than riding on an e-bike. The quietness and no gas smell, no fumes or anything. Just you, your bike, and nature. I enjoy this so much, guys. This is like the best therapy ever. Wow, look at those birds. I don't even see those. That's awesome. I don't know what those are, but they're cool looking. But this is definitely like serene, serenity right here, guys. This, if you guys are having any kind of anxiety or bad day, just take your e-bike out in the woods and enjoy this beautiful view, guys. 
nothing better than this oh i see e-bike siding hi guys i love those bikes they're really cool they're not whoa what are you on this is called a super 73 rx <laughs> there you go. Okay, then. yeah really cool bikes how fast do they go Oh, ludicrous. <laughs> I've gone about 21, the power cuts up. Oh, okay, and then when you pedal with it, it'll give you a little more speed. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, I, I want to get some gears on this because there's like no gears. So once I get to 20 miles, like the pedals just spin and nothing. So. I changed the uh, three wheels on these, went from a 13 to 11 to final drive. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I look like with these small crank arms. <laughs> How much does that bike weigh? Uh, I want to say about 75 to 80 pounds. See, that's the thing with these things. They're heavy. They're those are heavy too? Well, they're about 75, 80 pounds. Set, same. Yeah. So, but the cool thing, those fold, right? They fold? Yeah, they'll fold up. And the handlebars go down and everything? Yeah. That's awesome. The portability of those are really cool. Yeah, we can put them in our car and bring them down here. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we have the best trails around here, as you guys know. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, if you guys want to check out my channel, my name is uh, Shreddy McSkate, like Shreddy Eddy, E D D I E. Um, and I, I do all rides around here and explain about the trails and try out different bikes and everything. Okay. So that's awesome. The, the, are they Matt or Mate? Mate. Mate. Okay, I'm gonna look those up. All right, guys, have fun. It was good meeting you guys. Enjoy your day. Cool, that was the first time I've seen those bikes in person, so hopefully I could try one of those bikes in the future. Oh man, this windiness. All right, hold on, where, where are we at? 13.2 miles, 85%. We're gonna make it, guys. We're probably gonna do more than 60 miles. All right, this is the number two most favorite view here in Delaware. Check that out. It's a lot better when the sun's out and like behind those trees over there, it looks like a painting. It's beautiful, I love it. All right, this is actually Rehoboth Beach. So luckily that oil hasn't made it this far south, which is awesome. I don't see any signs or any like oil blotches anywhere. That's great to see. All right, well, let's get back on our mission. I'm gonna be reading some comments here pretty soon, guys. So be on the lookout for that. Let's ride on the boardwalk. All right, guys, so we're at 80% now. So we've done 15 and a half miles. It's seeming like we're gonna get just about 60 miles. So I'm just gonna take it nice and easy for the rest of this trip. Till the way back, then I'll go full speed and I'll do a, a nice little cheesy music video for you guys. But the wind has been pretty killer today by the beach. Once you get on the trails, the wind isn't that bad though. Normally you're not allowed to ride on the boardwalk in the summertime, but I think after it's like September 18th or something, you're allowed to ride your bikes on here, which is awesome nice little shortcut I've actually never made it this far down the boardwalk it gets thinner as farther you go down let's see how far we can get on this boardwalk I feel like this boardwalk is like maybe three to five miles long I don't actually know I'm, I'm I'm overestimating I think I'd say three miles oh cool they have their own little boardwalk that leads to the boardwalk <laughs> that's sick Oh man, I wish it was no wind today and all sun. It's still a nice day though. It's gonna hit 70. I think it's about 64 right now, which ain't too bad. Oh, I love dogs so much. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys like dogs too. All right, this looks like the end of the boardwalk journey. So we're gonna turn right here and we're gonna get back onto Rehoboth. So actually this is that, uh, I forgot what they call it, Sunset Lake or something, or Silver Lake. I wanna say it's Silver Lake. You've guys seen this place before. I've, did a, I've done a little uh, intro right here. Let's go check out the awesome huge mansions. What's cool about these houses over here on, on this lake is they have a lake view and an amazing beach view. So it's like, you get two views for the price of one million dollars. <laughs> That's sick. All right, we're getting to the mansions. Well, you can see them over there. 
these are probably more than a million dollar mansions. I want to say two, three million dollar mansions. <laughs> Comment down below if you think these are more than one million dollars, these houses here. Look at this. Look at this. How cool would that be? Lake view, beach view. You get all the views. New lot, somebody's getting ready to build another mansion. Ooh, the wind is making it a little bit chilly. Chilly, chilly. Now check out this view, guys. Maybe this is the third best view in Delaware right here. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, how you doing? All right, so we're coming out of Rehoboth and we're gonna be heading right into Dewey now. And we're at 17.4 miles with 78% battery left. And so far, I still got all of my air in my tire. I haven't had to switch the valve core out just yet. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was a, I don't know if that was a minute. I think it was an Amish guy, but he was checking out this bike. I know he wants one for show. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right, guys, we've made it to Dewey. We're at 18.3 miles with 76% battery life. Thumbs up if you know what this place is, the starboard. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been here before. <laughs> Whoa, look at all the scooty magooties. Best crab cake in town right there, Woody's. Make sure you guys check that place out if you're ever in Dewey. Here's a beautiful view of our Bayside, fellas. I don't even know the name of this restaurant. What is it, the Rusty Rudder or something? I don't know. They have parasail rentals, kayak rentals here, boat rentals, all types of stuff. We're at 75% with 19.1 miles traveled. It's been two hours, guys. So yeah, this test is gonna take a while. So uh, we're just gonna keep our journey going. I just wanted to show you this awesome view. All right, guys. So I am definitely lucky that the wind is blowing from the west not from the south or the north that way i'm not gonna be fighting any kind of winds uh going back and forth uh so i'm gonna make it to the inlet bridge the other side and then i'll turn back around and start heading back hopefully that'll be around 25 miles once i hit the bridge a little unfortunate thing happened so when you guys are carrying your phone uh cords don't let them hang off the back because my phone cord totally snapped and now part of it is stuck in my brake caliper so I'm going to try to take this out of there without having to remove the brake caliper. But it, it's looking like I'm going to have to remove the brake caliper. <laughs> and I hope this didn't do any damage to my brakes. I really do. Look at that, guys. Uh, I'm thinking maybe oil got on the brake pad, too. Hopefully you guys can see that. Man, that's unfortunate. Oh, that sucks. Look at that. Hopefully my phone doesn't die in the process. So I'm going to let that turn off. And uh, my next stop is going to be finding somewhere I can get another phone charger. Oh man, I hope that brake pad isn't totally worn out. Wow, look what it did to it. That's crazy. All right, good thing I have these needle nose pliers with me. So we'll keep that here. Let's not litter. Make sure this is closed. And back to our journey so i'm sure that was slowing me down a little bit oh man that is unfortunate oh my god i can't believe that happened all right well it should be good now man that is beat so i don't have a charger guys let's make sure we're not rubbing we're good we're good that's crazy guys that's crazy ah i should have listened to my girlfriend earlier she told me that I was hanging that's beat ah all right well keep going and i uh, hope my phone doesn't die before this journey is over or before i can get another phone charger man all right guys we're almost to the middle of the bridge and i feel like my guesstimation of 25 miles to the end of the bridge is going to be on point look at that we're almost to the middle of the bridge 24.8 miles look at that that's awesome i guessed it pretty well guys so we're at 64 percent almost 25 miles traveled 
Um, check out this beautiful view, guys. Super windy up here. So once I get to the other side, I'll turn around, take a quick little break, read some comments, because um, your boy Shreddy is getting old. I went for my morning uh, pint ride. I picked up the pint and I felt my back pop. So I'm feeling some pain in my lower back. I'm just gonna chill a little bit and uh, read those comments for you guys, because Shreddy's an old head and you know this man. Look at that. Beautiful. I can't wait to be back out on this water here soon with Chris catch up some fish. Woo! It's crazy people are still camping. End of October. Man, Lake Cationers. Actually, it's pretty odd that it's 70 degrees and what is it? October 28th? That's insane. 70 degrees. It is a tad bit chilly though since it's super windy. What is it right now though? Yeah, it's actually 70 right now. It's gonna be a high of 72 today. Wow. Water doesn't look too rough out there, eh? All right, guys, we're at the other side of the bridge and what is a shreddy video without riding through some more grass? Eww. Freaking the log, going the wrong way. So we're gonna go check out the inlet, take a break right there. And we'll read some of your comments, guys. All right, let's check out the inlet. It's actually not as rough as we normally see it. Just a little bit. That's pretty cool. Sailboat out there. Thumbs up for this view, guys. Check this out, guys. I've never ridden downstairs. This is the first for Shreddy. <laughs> that was fun. All right, guys, we found a little fishing hole I'm gonna take a little break at and read some comments. Let's check it out. Whoa, this is awesome. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get off this bike because my back is killing me, guys. Old man back. Oh, get some water out and make sure my brakes are good. <laughs> There's like rubber all rubbed on all around my... Oh man, sorry rotor, didn't mean to hurt you. This is a cool little view guys, check this out. It's a nice little fishing hole people made a trail to go to. Always bring water on your rides guys. All right guys, we're almost at the halfway point. We're at 26.3 miles with 62% battery left. This is great, I think I'm gonna be able to do 60 miles plus on this journey. All right, guys, are you guys ready for some comments? Well, let's check out some comments. All right, I'm just gonna be reading the last four comments from uh, the last couple videos. So this first comment is from Don Mikula. Shreddy, I got an email yesterday. My RX was shipped and they know who you are. I told them if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know about the Super 73. Give them some free stuff, I said. He gave you free advertising. Well, congratulations on your RX. I'm so stoked that you're gonna be receiving it today. And dude, thanks for the shout out, man. Thanks, Don. You're the man. Next comment is from PRD Brothers. Dude, you're just one viral video from having a huge increase of subs. I can just feel it. Just glad to be here before it begins, man. I'm trying to finish nursing school and the first big purchase will be the Super 73 because of your channel. That's awesome, bro. Thanks for being a good background when I study, man, and stay safe. APRD brothers, thank you so much for that awesome comment, man. That's what pushes me to keep going and making videos like this, just for comments like that, man. I appreciate it. And good luck in nursing school, and I think you're gonna kick ass in there, man. And uh, once you purchase that Super 73, make sure you get that RX through my uh, link down below, and you're gonna love that bike, man. Thanks a lot for that comment. And our next comment is from Mike in Tampa, one of my favorite YouTubers. Make sure you guys check out his channel. Hi Shreddy, that was a great interaction with the cops. You handled yourself well. I'm sure they appreciate it too. So that was on the, the last video I had when I went out there to see if they could, if they wanted some help with that oil spill. Uh, 
Mike, yeah, uh, thank you so much uh, for the comment. Uh, the interaction was awesome. Those cops ended up being really cool. And uh, hold on, check this out. He uh, commented again. He thought the cuffs were coming out when I did a burnout in front of him. <laughs> uh, they actually laughed, and I'm glad that they liked it, and they didn't handcuff me and put me in jail from that. But hopefully they buy a Super 73 from the interaction. Thanks for the comment, Mike. Here's the last comment, guys, from Raymond Harris. I think the guy who had built a bomber bike should think about starting his own business. Perhaps the two of you could talk about that. As he builds them, you could ride and test them on your channel. You promote them, people order through you, you both get paid, and people get stoked about e-bikes. Something to think about. Raymond, that is a very good idea. I'm actually going to talk to Marv about doing that, and hopefully we can start a business. And you guys are going to be buying these bikes, and they're going to be really awesome, guys. Raymond, thank you so much for the comment. And everybody, thanks for commenting below. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. Everybody down in the live chat, comment down below if you think I'm going to make 60 miles today because this is a crazy fun journey so far. I've been enjoying it and I hope you guys have been enjoying it too. Check out this awesome view. This is the life right here, guys. Beautiful, right? Drop a like for this. Oh, this is really bad. Very bad. It looks like the oil did make it this far. It's like actually in the inlet. Look at this. Ah. Yeah, that's definitely oil. Check this out, guys. Big old clump of oil here in the inlet. Ah, oh, that's so, so upsetting. Man, I did not think it made it this far. But yep, there it is. There's proof, guys. I have no clue if Denrak knows that it's made it this far, but I'm I'm willing to guess that they they know. But man, this is this is just really upsetting, guys. Oh man, that really bums me out. Man, that's like the first clump I've seen in person right there. I'm actually gonna walk these rocks a little bit just to see how far. Ah. Let's check it out. I don't see anything else yet. That is really lame, guys. Man. All right, guys, back to our mission home. So let's see if we make it, guys. Man, that's so unfortunate. I cannot believe the oil made it this far. Oh, that stuff was like super chunky and like very sticky, man. Now, now I see why it really, really damages like the animals and, you know, wildlife. It makes it really, it probably makes it hard for them to fly. And again, if you guys want to ride with Shreddy, if you guys are vacationing in the area, just hit me up on uh, YouTube or on Instagram. I'm Shreddy McSkate on all social networks. Imagine seeing another turkey. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys remember me seeing a turkey here. I, I was so, so stoked to see a turkey. I've never seen a turkey at the beach before. <laughs> Have you seen a turkey at the beach before? <laughs> hey guys, I want to say thank you so much to all the fellow Emoto vloggers. I feel like without your support and inspiration, I really wouldn't be where I am right now. I feel like that's what this community is about, the, the Emoto vloggers, like we're here to inspire each other and help each other grow along with the e-movement and the e-revolution. Thank you guys so much, you guys rule. Alright guys, we made it to the 33 mile mark, we're at 53%. Your boy Shreddy is getting super hungry, so I'm gonna go hit up that Latin restaurant and see if I can get some pastelillo de queso y carne. Um, we're gonna feed myself and then we're gonna go do the rest of the journey. Hopefully it'll be 20 miles left after we get there All right guys Here is the Puerto Rican food place It's called doggy style hot dogs, which is kind of weird, but man, they got some good Spanish food guys I'm gonna order me some pastelillos. I'm so excited last time I was here. They were closed and I was super sad So stoked So stoked So stoked Get me some pastelillos. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Do you guys have pastelillos de, de carne y queso? Three. Sí. Um, can I get two? Yeah. Let's see what else you guys do. Puerto Rico over here. Pastelillo de pastelillo or pastelillo de pollo? De carne y queso? De carne y queso? Sí, por favor. 
Do you guys have Malta? Yeah. Uh, I'll take one Malta too, please. All right, guys. I got my food from Doggy Style Hot Dog. Everybody in there was so nice and courteous, and I can't wait to come back and enjoy the different foods. Uh, he said they're gonna be they're gonna have a panini press, so they're gonna be making some really good sandwiches here soon. So I'm definitely gonna be a frequent customer here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is find a cool place to chill and eat this grub, and I'll show you what pastelillos are all about. And I did get myself some Malta, of course. So I'll see you guys at the picnic tables. All right, guys, let's check out this awesome meal I got. First, let me show you Malta India. This is my favorite Puerto Rican drink of my life. But uh, I remember when I was three years old, this is actually, I, I still remember falling. When I was three years old, I was running with one of these. I fell and it smashed and I actually got like three or four stitches right here in my thumb that I still have the scar from. But here we go. So these are called pastelillos and um, inside of them I asked for cheese and meat. So the way they, they make the uh, Puerto Rican meat. So my mouth is watering. I'm, 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 I'm thinking about this right now. So there it is, cheese and meat in there. They gave me some kind of sauce, but I have no clue what it is. It kind of looks like a not McDonald's burger sauce or something. Let's see what it's about. Let's see what this sauce is about. Mmm, looks like a spicy chipotle. I've never dipped a pastelillo in any chipotle before. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. This is what I'm talking about, guys. If you guys haven't tried Puerto Rican food, do yourself a favor. Get some Puerto Rican food because it's so good. Pastelillos. They actually sell these as, as frozen discs in the supermarket and what I used to do is I'd cook some eggs like almost all the way like scrambled eggs and then cook some bacon put it inside close it up and fry it up so good making little breakfast uh, pastelillos out of it but all right I'm gonna grub down and we're gonna get back to our journey guys Woo! all right guys pastelillos destroyed let's get that out of here yeah Oh, I should have hit that. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So what do we have? We're at 35.3 miles. Okay. Ah, oh, man, I'm already getting so tired. All right. <clears throat> We're just going to continue our journey. What, we got like 25 more miles? Let's see if we can do it. 49%, 48% just hit now, actually. Man, uh, we might make it, guys. We might. <laughs> I hope you guys have been enjoying this journey so far. It's been a pretty fun, epic little one. <laughs> Not little one, long one. Wee! Guys, peep this. 2,222 miles traveled on this bicycle. Wow, what a journey. <laughs> it's been a great, great ride so far, guys. I've had this bike, what, for like, I wanna say five months now? Five, five or six months now, man. Oh God, if you guys enjoy your bike as much as I enjoy mine, comment down below. <laughs> E-bikes are the best, man. All right guys, checking in at the 40 and a half mile mark. We're at 40% battery left, so mine is 8% usually because this thing usually dies around 8%. So we got about 20 miles left on this journey. Um, I'm just gonna kind of circle around Rehoboth a little bit and then I'm gonna hop on the Breakwater Junction Trail and uh, then we'll do like a little cheesy music video and we'll probably kill off the rest of the battery before we hit 60, I think, but we'll see guys, we'll see. Comment down below if you think I'm gonna make it. Well guys, we're at the 42.7 mile mark with 36% battery left. There's no better time than right now for another cheesy music video brought to you by Shreddy.
All right, guys, we're gonna cut that cheesy music video a little bit short. I'm down to 26%. We've traveled uh, almost 46 miles. We're at 45.9, so we're gonna cut this right now. I hope you guys enjoyed that because I had a blast doing that myself. It kind of hurt a little bit because I don't know if I showed you guys that before. <laughs> Recently, I fell on my pint. Um, it was a wet day and I slipped pretty hard and I fell on my wrists, cut myself up pretty bad. Got a little bit of whiplash, but I'm all right, guys. So when I was holding the selfie stick, it was kind of pressing on there. Kind of, oof, kind of sucked. But all right, guys, so 26%. Um, let's try to finish the rest of this journey. We're, we're almost at 46 miles again, like I said. But um, I mean, let's see if we can do 55, 60. Uh, I'm going to just kind of keep feathering the throttle like this until we get close to home, guys. All right, guys, we hit the 48.3 mile mark and my battery was around 22% and it my bike just totally sh it shut off by itself. Let's see where we're at again. 48.3 miles. Is my bike gonna turn back on? Oh yeah, the battery's totally shot. All right, so it looks like uh, I'll keep on doing that little throttle feather to see uh, how much farther we can get with it, but oh man. I have to find somewhere to charge because I'm still about seven miles away from my house and I am not going to pedal this thing for seven miles. Heck no. I'll hang out somewhere and charge this battery until I can get a little bit of juice to get home. <laughs> oh, this is unfortunate. My battery lied to me. It lied. <laughs> Remember guys, if you see that little sign, you still have a little bit of juice in the battery. I think there's like some plugs over here somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, this is pretty much, it's dead. D-E-D, -E did. Dead, 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 dead. Please let there be a plug up here somewhere. Oh, ain't that crazy. I didn't even hit 50, guys. That cheesy music video crushed it. <laughs> and yes, I see a little plug up here. My savior. Come on, come on. You can get there. Yes, please be a freaking plug, please. Oh. Yes, Eureka. All right, guys. Well, let's see what we got at the end of this journey. Oh, man, look at that map. Yep, I went all around here. <laughs> all right, so the duration was 5 hours and 32 minutes and 19 seconds. My average speed was 9 miles an hour. My total ascent, 26 feet. Max altitude, 42 feet. My distance, 48.5 miles. Max speed was 25. That was probably going down that inlet bridge. Total descent, 19 feet. And minimum altitude was negative three feet, guys. Wow. If you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And remember to support your boy Shreddy check out all those links down below guys and are you ready for that moment of silence for the subscribe button in three two one hit subscribe heads down all right guys i'll see you in the next ride